What's up, HVAC Control Pro? This is Eric Stromquist with Control Trends and Stromquist.com. Hey, I wanted to reach out and share some video footage with you of Jim Young. Jim was on our uh, weekly podcast uh, about three weeks ago. He has a conference that's coming up in Nashville, Tennessee. It's coming up, uh, starts June 12th, goes through the 14th. It's Realcom, uh, Realcom Ibicon is the name of the show. Jim is the founder of Realcom Ibicon, and I think this is if for no other reason, a year that you want to make sure you go to the conference. I know it's last minute. Control Trends has a 10% discount. But I think if you'll take a few minutes and listen to what Jim has to say, you will, like me, realize that this might be the conference that changes it all. Uh, I'll let Jim explain it uh, in the interview here that we have coming up. But please listen to this. Check it out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, reach out to me in comments. Let me know. I can give you a link to get the discount code. But listen to this, and I'll check you on the flip side. Well, you know, I mean, you say that, you know, I can see the future. It's really simple. While you guys are busy doing what you do so well, I'm out there poking around, right? That's what I do. I lift up rocks. I talk to people. I, you know, I look at products when nobody cares about them. And, and then, you know, over the years, I have gotten reasonably good at spot and something that I think makes some sense. And then here's the magic. You just, you take that little wave in the middle of the lake and you have to believe that someday it's going to impact the configuration of the sand on the beach. It's going to take momentum. It's going to move down a path. And eventually that, that, that wave in the middle of that ocean will come all the way to land and disrupt the sand on the beach. And, and I've just seen that over and over and over again. So now I know that's how it happens. So in 2002, that would be 17 years ago, we literally put on paper the concept of smart, connected, high performance, intelligent, sustainable building, right? And this was not the building world that we all knew. This was not BAS. This was not one system, one building, one manufacturer. This was a place where a, a, an IP network was thrown on top of a building and all these disparate different systems from hundreds of different manufacturers connected onto this IT network and became this unified system. That, that, because I came from the IT background, that's how I saw this thing coming down. That was 17 years ago. So for 17 years, we've been talking and you know, you know, people were making some moves and, and we had some success stories, case studies. We had little companies and then we had GSA come in, big mover. We had Microsoft, Daryl Smith come in, big mover. And, and then the cat was out of the bag. And even though it wasn't mainstream, more and more people said, this makes sense. Well, I'll tell you, this year at Realcom and IBCon specifically, this is the year that will go down in history as the, the time we saw that vision realized to the next level. The convergence of IT, OT, and IoT. And between what Microsoft's doing with their Azure Sphere platform, and the 5G technologies that we've got coming, which by the way, are not looking, they're looking outside to make sure your cell phone works, but for the first time in history, they're really looking at what happens inside. So you got communications layers changing, you've got uh, uh, chip technologies in devices changing, you of course got the cloud, and, and what Microsoft is going, and by the way, they're gonna have 30 people in their booth in their pavilion, 30 partners. Wow. Okay. These are people that, that weren't there last year. This ecosystem, they, I think they had eight last year. So within one year, it's gone from eight to 30 and they have more. They just sold out the pavilion. There's no more room, right? So if you're an integrator and you've been working with all the major Johnson, Honeywell, Siemens, you know, and, and have used to a certain story or, or um, methodology on building automation, one vendor, one system, this is a paradigm shift in the industry. This is this is a shift that if you don't get on, you will miss an opportunity of a lifetime. It might be a little scary at first, but the opportunities are bigger, more complex, make more money, have more fun, more interesting. Um, but this is a taconic shift. And it's happening this year in 30 days or less. Wow. Four, more than four weeks. Now, now, why do you say that, Jim? What is so different about this compared to business as usual? Well, we, we had a couple different worlds competing for this smart building, right? We had the old traditional methodology, one building, one system, one manufacturer, one set of wiring, you know, to this system, one set of wiring. Never did they talk, never did they integrate, never did they interoperate. 
And all of a sudden, um, you know, we've been talking again for 17 years. That doesn't make any sense. You need this network and then you got to put all this stuff on it and you normalize data and you secure data. And from an IT perspective, it made sense. Five, seven years ago, Internet of Things shows up. What's Internet of Things? Oh, we're going to connect cars and we're going to connect refrigerators. That was the big, big hypey push. Well, little by little over the last five years, people are taking it serious. I saw a demo last week, uh, actually this week, um, where Starbucks is taking a little micro uh, controller, putting it in all of their coffee makers, creating a secure cyber protected connection to the Wi-Fi networks inside Starbucks, taking it back to the Azure cloud and being able to measure coffee in all of their locations worldwide at a level of granularity, applying artificial intelligence that you've never seen before in the history of the world. So if they can do it to a coffee maker, they can sure do it to a doorknob, an HVAC system, a lighting system, a parking gate, all the building systems that we've been automating for years using all sorts of different systems, now have a unified system, a methodology uh, to connect. This is going to, accept, this is what the big guys who have to deploy globally have been waiting for. You know, a standard architecture, a, a, a cyber a protected architecture, a place to normalize data, a place to apply cool things like analytics and digital twin visualization. Um, I think they're going to bring that, that standardization and that scalability to smart buildings that we've just never seen. And if you're not at our conference, I'm not just trying to pitch you to come to a conference, but if you're not aware of this and you don't, and I've been getting uh, debriefed the last week, um, little by little, and the more I learn, the more I say, boy, if I was an integrator, if I was in the smart building industry, I got to know about this. No, no well, well, you know, Jim, it's a, uh, it sure is uh, an inspiring, awesome, uh, you know, concept that, you know, we're going to have a paradigm shift because uh, you've been doing this 20 years. Uh, and, uh, in fact, last year you celebrated the 20th anniversary. And, and, uh, and I just received my copy of this, uh, this marvelous uh, Real Calm Edge document that is full of almost, it's like an encyclopedia of technology and how it's coming to us. And, and, and even though uh, Microsoft Azure is, is, is a very large component of, you have a whole lot more that you're going to present at the Realcom I Become oh, yeah. show. Yeah. And, and I think you know, what we're trying to do is inspire people from the Control Trends community to attend. You know, we, we are going to conclude this with a, we have a promo code that we're going to make sure everybody's aware of. Well, let me, let me break it down in a minute or two for you. Okay, so <laughs> 20 years, like you said, um, pushing the elephant up the hill, if you will. You know, technology applied to the built environment, not an easy sell, pretty stubborn industry. But we, it, last year was a milestone, okay? We, we 20 year celebration. Uh, fast forward to Nashville, four and a half weeks from now. We'll have over 2,000 people. They will come from 25 to 30 countries. So what that means is the smartest people from around the world about smart buildings assemble. It will start with a golf tournament. So if people want to golf, that's fun. But also that first day, uh, we have five or six tours to some smart buildings in Atlanta, or in, in Nashville, I should say. So what that means is you come a day early and you can go poke around some really cool smart buildings and literally touch things and talk to the people who built them. Then we start with pre-con. If you're in the, in the um, smart building world and you're not at that cyber forum, you're doing your clients a disservice. We will have some of the best brains been working for five years trying to figure out how to con uh, protect smart connected buildings. And uh, if you're not hearing that conversation, you're doing your clients a disservice. Then we go into seven or eight other pre-conference events. We'll have CIOs in one room, integrators in another room, COOs, boot camps, higher ed, MIT, Stanford, all these different groups meet and they talk about their specific type of real estate, you know, a college campus or an office building or a mall. Uh, and then the integrators, we have the Integrator Summit, which is absolutely designed for your community. Microsoft will be presenting in that session, as well as a host of other vendors. Then we go into our welcome reception, kind of a party to welcome everybody. We're in Nashville. We're going to have fun, have some good music. Next morning, general session. Just one part of the general session is going to be Hudson Yards, the new big project in New York City, smart. Exxon Mobil, new corporate headquarters, global portfolio, Facebook's intelligent campus. Uh, and um, Brookfield, one of the, I think the second largest real estate owner in the world, buildings all over the world, uh, applying a, a big innovation strategy to that whole portfolio. And then we're, we, the other part we'll announce next week, uh, another uh, addition to the general session is gonna be huge. Then we have 150 sessions over the next two days, IBCon and Realcom. Everything from 
edge devices, building networks, uh, what's the building operating system, what's the latest and greatest in HVAC, what's the latest and greatest in parking. So we have these showcases. Uh, and then the final day, Friday morning, we devote to the uh, Smart Building Best Practice Showcase. We'll have 35 to 40 of the world's best smart buildings on display, not literally, but little poster boards and the people who are in involved with those smart projects will sit for an hour and a half or so and tell you everything about them. So it's like a show for smart buildings. So this year, the exhibit floor is 20% bigger and it's sold out. The program is about 30% bigger. So you now need three or four people because this, it's really catching up. I mean, this with the cat's out of the bag, smart, connected, high performance, intelligent, IP centric network buildings are, are never turning back, right? And so that's why I just, I, I love your community. I love the guys who've been building smart buildings, designing smart buildings for the last 30 years, using tools you know, from, like you said, the five majors or some of these big companies, but IT is arriving in our industry. Yeah, and it has been, but, but this year more than ever, there's gonna be a really strong IT um, feel about the IBCon because the big players are coming in. Well, Jim, I, I want to hop in here real quick and, and something that I think a lot of people don't consider because obviously you guys are a bonanza of the latest technology, the latest opportunities, but you got to bring a salesperson too because the reason being is because it's the only conference I know where you can go learn about great technology and also the customers are there that are interested in that technology. You're never going to find another event with those two come together, it's you know, you know, it's it's just a fantastic investment. Well, our our tagline is fifty billion square feet of real estate represented by executive leader, executive thought leaders, the decision makers, who have their checkbooks. I mean, they're they're looking for things, and and that's what I I, I believe is one of the most powerful things of the conference. If if the owners went to one conference and the integrators went to another conference and manufacturers went to another conference the dynamics of how that communication takes place means it's three times as long, right? Because the chance of them running into each other on the streets after their conferences is very low. The fact that they're all in the same room and they have the possibility of running into each other in the hall or, or uh, sitting next to each other in a session or having a beer, that's why it, it can move faster. And so well, there you go, man. It sounds pretty spectacular. Jim has sort of been right on for so many years and it's like uh, opportunity, when opportunity knocks, you sort of have to listen and take the call. I mean, it's a little bit like, to me, it's like he's pointing to here's the next goal, where the next gold rush is going to be, and you have the opportunity to get in on it, but only if you sort of get to the conference. And again, I think this is one of the best conferences that I go to, primarily because you can meet customers there. It's the only place you can get the technology unbiased because it's not one manufacturer putting it on. It's multiple manufacturers there. Jim gets the biggest thought leaders, but more importantly, he's getting the customers, right? The customers that are there to buy. And I got to tell you a story about this. One of the biggest projects we had in Atlanta was uh, called the Bank of America building. And uh, it was a huge product, project. Everybody was, was chasing it. Uh, thanks to our integrator, we were able to get it. But uh, I'm at Realcom Ibicon in San Antonio, Texas, I think three or four years ago. And Kenny, I was sitting there and there's a guy in front of us at a cybersecurity conference. Man, he looks a little bit different than everybody else. He's got the, uh, you know, the tie on, he's got the braces or the suspenders on, he's got the slick back hair. He looks like a Wall Street investment banker. He's got this beautiful assistant sitting next to him. And uh, so Kenny, I get really, really curious about this guy. So on the break, we go up and start talking to him. And uh, he says, yeah, he's in kind of real estate and, he, and he's in real estate. And I said, well, yeah, we are too. We do controls for real estate. And he says, really? Well, what are some of the jobs you've done? And I mentioned the Bank of America building in Atlanta. And he goes, yeah, I own that building. Okay. So where are you going to get these connections? I mean, it, it is a great conference. I encourage you to, uh, hey, stop what you're doing. Figure out how you can get to Nashville. Hey, when you do come up, meet me and Kenny. Again, 10% discount. Uh, Control Trends has a special discount. Go to the site, controltrends.com, or reach out to me, hvaccontrolpro at gmail.com. We'll make sure we get you hooked up. All right, peace out. We'll check you next time.